let us talk about the relationship between the marginal revenue and elasticity. So let us talk about, and, and let's try to link this with a perfectly comparative case. So we know this that uh, for the perfectly comparative firm, the demand curve for the firm is infinitely elastic, right? So let's try to do that. And with the help of the example also, we'll look at it. So let me just write the definition for elasticity first. So EQP is uh, percentage change in the quantity demanded upon the percentage change in the price. This is elasticity of demand, which you write as dq by dp into p by q dq by dp into p by q right okay what is your total revenue p into q so how much is being sold into what is the unit price p into q what is mr what is the change in revenue when one more unit of output is sold when one more unit of output is sold well uh, so we'll just differentiate this with respect to q first function as it is into derivative of q with respect to q is one plus second function as it is into derivative of p with respect to q is db by dq so i can write like this so my MR is basically P plus Q dP by dQ. So first thing which you have to remember is this. First thing which you have to remember is this guy. Well, uh, if the price is not going to change when the quantity is going to change, then in that case dp by dq is zero and in the perfectly competitive market even if the firm is going to supply more or supply less it is not going to affect the price at all so in that case your dp by dq is going to be equal to zero and mr would be equal to p so if price doesn't change As quantity changes, dp by dq is equal to zero. This happens in case of the perfectly competitive market, right? So, in in this case, mr is equal to p. Fair enough. So we say that the firm is a price taker because it cannot influence the price by whatever quantity it is trying to sell. So we say that the firm is a price taker as its output decisions do not affect the price it receives. Do not affect the price it receives. One thing is that. Second thing, can I just write my MR in a little different fashion? So this is what I've written my MR as. So can I write MR as? So can I take P common? So the moment I take P common, it becomes one plus Q upon P dP by dQ. Hmm? And if you remember, what is your elasticity? Huh? 
what is your elasticity dq by dp into p by q so one upon elasticity is this guy one upon elasticity is this guy right I can write like this. But the point is that elasticity is a negative number. So can I write it like this? Since it's a negative number. So this also is what my MR is. This also is what my MR is. Let me just write it once more. Just keep this thing in head. Useful for various kinds of questions. Right. So this is also very important for us. We'll be coming back to this thing again and again, maybe in monopoly as well. Okay, so now just think about it. If the demand is elastic, If the demand is elastic, that means modulus of one, sorry, modulus of E is greater than one, right? Now, when modulus of E is greater than one, for example, you take up any modulus of E, that is, let's say two. So one minus half, this guy is going to be positive, right? This guy is going to be positive. So say, for example, equal to two, let's say. So your MR would be equal to what? So it is what? 2 minus 1 upon 2, that is half. That is P of one. All right. So P is equal to 2 MR. So price is equal to 2 MR. So basically what you are trying to say is that that MR is one MR is positive. One thing is that for sure MR is positive, and uh, and uh, your MR is uh, price is greater than MR. Price is greater than MR, right? So one thing MR is positive. MR is positive, right? And uh, Achha, one more thing is because because demand is very elastic, right? Let's say you have a demand curve which is like this. So you have the quantity demanded here. You have the price here. So you have the demand curve which is like this. Huh. So earlier you were selling this much quantity at this much price, right? Now, if you want to sell the sell a little more quantity, oh, oh. and this happens sometimes. So you have you were selling this much quantity at this much price. You want to sell one more quantity or one more unit of quantity? I mean, it won't affect the price a lot. That's an idea, right? It won't affect the price a lot. That's an idea because you have the elastic demand. All right. If the demand is elastic, if the demand is elastic, the sale of one more unit
will not affect the price very much. will not affect the price very much and hence more revenue will be yielded. And hence more revenue will be yielded by the sale. by the sale, right? So, one thing is that. Second thing, we look at what happens in case if we have the perfectly elastic demand curve, right? In this case. That is, in elasticity is infinite, right? We have the perfectly elastic demand curve. Then in that case, what happens? This is the case of the perfectly competitive firm's demand curve. So what do you have out here? You have uh, MR equals to P into 1 minus 1 upon elasticity, right? 1 minus 1 upon infinity in that case. So what will this be? This is 1 upon infinity is 0. So your MR is equal to P. So what do you say? That uh, in this case, the firm in this case is a price taker. is a price taker. If the demand is il, uh, your inelastic, modulus of E is less than 1. Then in that case, MR is going to be less than 0. For example, say modulus of E is half. Right? So in that case, MR is going to be what? P into 1 minus 1 upon half. Right? So that will be what? That is going to be what? Your This 2 will go up. That will be minus P. So this is MR is negative. MR is negative in this case. Uh, so You have a very, very elastic demand, let's say. So if Q here, and you just change, you want to just increase Q just a little bit, I mean, it is going to decrease the price a lot. So if you want to increase the revenue, you have to increase the quantity a lot, right? So increases in Q. Can be obtained. only through large decreases in market price. So you have increased the Q and there's a large decrease in market price and this will reduce the total revenue. This will reduce the total revenue. So 
I mean, I have not taken the numbers out here, but if you take the area of this triangle, if this rectangle and the area of this rectangle, the area of this lower rectangle is going to be lesser. This area is nothing but T into Q. That is your revenue, right? Uh, so that is one thing. So for the perfectly competitive case also, we have seen that MR is equal to P. He's a price taker. Let us quickly look at one example. Q is equal to A P to the power B. So what first of all, what is the elasticity? What is the elasticity? <clears throat> DQ by DP. Right. So what is DQ by DP? A B P to the power b minus p so elasticity ke liye what it is there dq by dp into p by q so this is p and what is q and p to the power b so this a a will get cancelled out right and uh, this is what beta p to the power b minus 1 into p what will this be b minus 1 plus 1 upon p to the power so what is this b into p to the power b upon p to the power b right so this will get cancelled out and you will have the elastic constant elasticity of demand case is this this is one is that this is the constant elasticity of demand case. Which is equal to B. Revenue. How do you get the revenue? P into Q. Uh, okay, let me just also write uh, this way. Q is equal to A into P to the power B. Right. So can I write this as Q to the power 1 by B? A to the power 1 by B into P. So I've just taken the root here. So I can write everything in terms of P. So that I can write this as 1 upon a to the power 1 by b into q to the power 1 by b. And let me say that this 1 upon a to the power 1 by b is nothing but equal to k. That's Let's say just a constant. Say that is equal to k. Into this. So this is what my p is. right? This is what my p is. So in place of p, I can write this guy. Q to the power 1 by P plus 1. That is Q to the power 1 plus B upon B. Right. So in order to find out MR, what will I do? DR by DQ. That's what we'll be doing. K is a constant. 1 plus B upon B into Q to the power 1 plus b upon b minus 1, right? So it is k, 1 plus b upon b into q to the power. This will be what, beta? 1 plus b minus b. So that is just 1. You know? That is just 1. So what will this be? 1 plus b upon b into k into q to the power and what is this beta p
is what my MR looks like. This is what my MR looks like. And what is B equal to? B is nothing but your uh, elasticity. B is nothing but elasticity. And B is nothing but elasticity. So, so this is the particular case. This guy is the case which we have. So it is 1 plus B upon B uh, into B. 1 plus B upon P into P. So you can see that MR is proportional to P. MR is proportional to P. Right. MR is proportional to P. Okay. So, so we can write MR as this guy also. 1 upon B plus 1 to P. We can write like this. So, when B is infinity, that is, you have infinitely elastic demand, perfect competition. Then what happens? You have MR equals to P. Why I'm saying B is infinity or because B is nothing but your elasticity of demand out. Right. So, MR is equal to P in this case. So, so in case of infinitely elastic demand, In case of infinitely elastic demand, or is a price take, right? So this is what I wanted to do in this recording. Thank you, Rita.